If you clicked on this video, I have a feeling you are a mom who wants to know how to balance both working at home and caring for your kids. Or maybe you're just here for some ideas and motivation. Maybe you're working outside the home and you want some ideas for how to even make it work with a side hustle or to make money from home. Well, guess what? I'm your girl, Sarah here from Work Life Glue, and I'm gonna show you how I balance a business that makes me money so I can stay home with my kids and all of the things by getting up at, wait for it, wait for it, 4 a.m. Yes, I don't just sit around eating bonbons and make money in my sleep. I actually have to work to make money. And here is my morning routine to help inspire you, motivate you, no matter if you work outside the home or a stay-at-home mom or just want to earn a few extra bucks but don't know how to fit it in, guess what? Early morning is where it's at, and I'm gonna show you my entire routine. As I said, my name is Sarah. I'm the mom to three little girls, ages seven, four, and one. I've been running this side business of Work Life Glue for about seven years since I became a mom, and now I also run a subscription box for busy working moms, and so that has added even more work, but it also has added more income, which has been such a wonderful thing for our family, so I can homeschool our kids, be home for them, and I have done other jobs like running a daycare in my home, so I really, really know a lot about the balance of all the things, working and being a mom at the exact same time. So let's jump into my morning routine. Like I said, I get up at 4 a.m. And when I get up, I head straight for the coffee. We set our coffee pot at night so that it will be brewing around 3.45 and ready for me so I can run up, get my coffee, and head down to my office. Once I head into my office, I turn on my salt lamp. I just really like something about the morning when everything's quiet, my kids are still sleeping, it's peaceful. I just love the dark. Just a wonderful way to wake up. And then I try to pull out my Bible and a memory, a day book to record little tidbits about my girls. It's a five-year journal, so you just write a little bit each day for a year and then you add on every single year for five years. It's super simple, takes me about a minute. And if I get behind, it's really easy to catch up. And then I try to fit my Bible in here. I've tried it at different times of the day, but I just find my heart needs it the most in the morning. So just rooting my day and my whole morning, my whole entire day in the word just is a wonderful thing for my heart and really sets my tone and my focus for my day and allows me to pray because it's so easy throughout the day to get sidetracked, to forget, to just kind of get swept up in my kids' emotions. So I really like to anchor myself in the word before I do anything else. And then I typically look over my plan for the day. I have a really good rhythm, but I like to look over like if there's any appointments or anything for the day, what I have to do during nap time when I do my work later on in the day, and just anything so that I know what's going on. And then I work. So usually from about 4.15, to 5.45, I will work. So this is just a great chunk of time for quiet. My kids don't wake up until 6.15, or they're usually up before that, but they don't come out of their rooms until 6.15. So this is a dedicated time I have to work. And I have been doing this now for four and a half years since my second daughter was born. I started getting up this early and it's just worked perfectly for me because I'm really, I joke that I'm worthless to the world by 8 p.m. I just cannot work at night. I've tried and I just cannot motivate myself. So nighttime is time for myself. Morning time is work time. And during this time, I really save it for things that I can do without being fully awake. So I edit my videos. I love editing. I think it's really creative. It's fun. I like watching my videos. I like creating, you know, thumbnails and things like that. So I save that kind of work because it doesn't take a ton of brain power and it's fun and creative and not super hard. So I like doing that in the morning. I make my thumbnails. I will upload videos, add links, um, just pretty easy stuff. I will also sometimes respond to emails during this time if they don't take a lot of brain power. I will plan videos and just some of that more easy stuff that I can just sit at my computer and do. It doesn't take physical labor and it doesn't take a lot of brain power, but definitely moves the needle for my business. They're things that I have to get done and that I can delegate to the mornings. If I have time, I will try to fit in like a 15 to 30 minute exercise video. I have Beach Body On Demand. I typically do, but there's also YouTube videos. I've tried every mother to heal my diastasis recti. I will do that in the mornings. 
Before I keep going with my morning, I would love if you would share one thing that would revolutionize your mornings if you could fit it in. Maybe it's reading the Bible. Maybe it's getting a little work done. Maybe it's planning out your day. Maybe it's meal prep. I mean, there are so many things you can do in the morning. Maybe it's actually sitting and watching a show because you work better at night, so you get up early to have some me time. That is okay too. There's no rules for what you have to do in the mornings. I would just love to know what's one thing that would really make your day better if you could fit it in the, in the mornings. Leave that in the comments. Now, once I am done working around, you know, 5.35 to 5.45, I head into the bathroom and I get ready. Before, yeah, I give myself about half an hour to get fully ready. That's brushing my teeth, makeup. If I need to jump in the shower for a quick rinse off, I will do that, getting dressed, making the bed, all the things before my kids get up at 6.15. So I am totally ready for them because I don't have much time to head back down to do it later. So I have a very easy and quick morning getting ready routine. Now, some people who stay home don't wear makeup, don't do the hair, don't really care, and that is totally fine for me. I just like to do the exact same makeup routine every single day. I don't even have to think about it, which is really nice, and that way I am ready for anything. I am ready to go out to eat with friends, I am ready for a date night, I am ready for a doctor appointment, but I'm also, you know, presentable if somebody comes to the door. I'm not super fancy, but I'm like up to par with how I would feel okay being out. Now during this time, I really like to do something for myself. So I will listen to one of my favorite podcasts. I really love the Office Ladies podcast. I also love I Am All In podcast with Scott Patterson, which is a Gilmore Girls rewatch podcast. And then I love listening to homeschooling podcasts as well. And sometimes I'll watch YouTube videos. This is just a great way to fit in some me time while I'm getting ready. After. And then when I'm all done getting ready, I'll rush into our room. I will make the bed. I just feel better if our bed is made in the mornings. And then I'll get dressed. I usually wear something very simple, either leggings or some high-waisted jeans and a drapey cardigan with a tank top. That's usually my go-to for most of the year. If you're watching this and you're feeling like you're just really struggling with your mornings, I have a great solution for you. I run a subscription box, like I said, and I also am focusing on mornings next month. In the month of June, we are gonna be tackling our mornings, getting some really solid routines down, through the products that I send out, but also through the exclusive community that comes along with the box. And we also will have an expert training that I'm actually doing because I'm doing a training for a conference. I thought this would be a great time to also release that to my exclusive community as well. So you can really maximize your morning. If you would like to subscribe, I will put the information below. And if you use coupon morning time, I will give you 15% off your first box to try it out. I would love to see you over there and really help make your mornings better. Once I am done, if I have time, I will rush up and switch over the laundry. I usually put a load of laundry in the washing machine right before bed, and so I delay it about 10 hours so it is ready right about the time I'm done getting ready, and then I'll move it over to the dryer so that I can work on it later if I have time. And then I will head upstairs to help my girls. Now my girls are seven, four, and one. So my seven-year-old, she's totally independent on getting herself dressed. My four-year-old still needs a little bit of help. And then I do go and help them brush their teeth just to make sure they get brushed well. And I do their hair. Sometimes my husband does this if he is home in the morning. But if he's not, then I do this part. And I, if he's home, I will do their hair at breakfast instead, which is kind of nice. Because we keep a bunch of stuff down in the kitchen cabinet so I can also do their hair there. Once I help my big girls, I will get my little one up and get her dressed, change her diaper, and then it is time to work on breakfast. Now something I do that I preach that I love is I pre-make one bulk breakfast item every weekend. So it might be muffins, it might be pancakes, waffles, egg bites, you know, whatever it may be. I make a bunch of it on the weekends, one bulk breakfast. Then I do a different one every single week and so Throughout the week then, I have four different pre-made bulk breakfasts that I can pull and just easily heat up and serve to my girls. A homemade breakfast that takes me like five minutes to put together. It's wonderful, I love it. And we also will make bulk scrambled eggs or hard boiled eggs on the weekends or on a not so busy morning so that we have those ready as well for some extra protein. And then I just cut up some fruit 
and we are ready for the day. I give them some probiotic in their milk or orange juice and their vitamins. I do not eat breakfast right now. I'm intermittent fasting and so I just make food for my kids. And then what I love to do during breakfast, I just find it's a wonderful time to connect with my kids and learn. So we listen to the Yodo Daily Podcast on our Yodo. It's full of geography and history and word of the day and jokes and fun riddles and all kinds of things that just, it's about 10 minutes long and it's just a great way to connect with each other. It's a fun routine to fit into our day and we absolutely love it. I'm three years old and here's my joke. When is a tractor, not a tractor, when it turns into a field. Okay. And then we also tear off a page a day calendar that came with my January subscription box that I send out and my kids love it because it's always something different every day. Sometimes we're learning, sometimes we're playing a game, and it's just really, really fun. After breakfast, I clean up. My kids usually will help put their dishes in the dishwasher, you know, dump any excess food either down the disposal or in the garbage, and then I just do a quick cleanup, spray off the counters, and if it was a messy breakfast, I will use our little sweeper vac to vacuum it up. And then we are usually done with that around 7.15. And so we will head to the couch. I try to really connect with my kids from that time after breakfast is done until we start homeschooling, which is around eight. So this is when we will sometimes do a dance party, which is fun, but I also am trying to fit in more reading during this time of picture books for the littler ones. So we like to read books at that time. We get a few picture books out. We love to read our Sophie Mouse books, a chapter of that. And then I also try to read a devotional to really center my kids day just like I like to read the Bible in the morning. I like to fit some of the word in in the morning through a devotional. We love these ones that tie science and faith together and it's just a great way to connect with my kids. Now before I go I just really wanted to share some encouragement with you guys. If you're watching this and feeling like whoa she does so much in the mornings by eight o'clock she's like done everything I do in a whole day. I get comments like that a lot and I just wanna give you guys some encouragement so you don't leave this video feeling defeated or less than or comparing your life to my life because this video is meant to inspire and motivate and I definitely don't wanna leave you discouraged. If you are in a season of wanting to have a side business or you're working full time and you just don't even know how you would fit a side business in, I want to encourage you to just get started, maybe started researching, started taking a course, getting started learning about the whole side business world, watching my videos because I'm going to be coming out with a lot of content in this area. And if you're already on the journey, I just want to encourage you guys to keep going. I've been doing this for over seven years. And I have not seen the success that a lot of people have seen. And I'm okay with that because at the end of the day, my biggest mission is one, to be with my kids through every moment and two, to really help people. So even if I'm not making tons and tons of money, if I'm actually helping people, that's worth so much more than money to me. Obviously, I'm on a mission to also make money for my family, and I am, but those two first things come first for me. I also want to encourage you to fit something in your morning, even if you just have to get up five minutes earlier, to just do something for you. As moms, we are constantly giving to everyone all the time, and by the end of the day, we're exhausted, and it's hard to fit in stuff for ourselves at the end of the day. So if you can get up five minutes earlier, do some jumping jacks, read a book that you've been wanting to read, watch a little show, like do whatever it is, do some knitting if that's something you wanna do. It really doesn't matter what it is, just fit something in for yourself. Start small, you don't have to overhaul and maybe you get up at six o'clock. Don't start getting up at 4 a.m. and trying to fit a whole day's worth of activities in your morning, start slow. I started at five and then 4.30 and then four and this was over many years and I just learned that I'm a morning person. Just start small and it will add up over time. And then I also wanna encourage you to post your why somewhere, have a vision board, have something that you will see often on your bedroom mirror, in your closet, wherever it may be, on the kitchen sink, you know, anywhere in your home, to remind yourself of why you're doing this, why you're getting up early, why you're starting a business, why you're keeping on with a business if it's not working. Write your why down so you can have a visual reminder of why you're doing this. And then I also wanna encourage you to take some time off. I am a productivity junkie. I just love being productive, but what you guys don't see is me sitting around at the end of the day, 
doing absolutely nothing, which I do almost every single night because I'm exhausted from doing so much during the day. Weekends I like to leave open for fun things I just want to do on my own, which to me is restful. Organizing is restful when it's just done because I purely just want to do it. So make sure you carve out some time just to do whatever it is you want to do or relax or rest or do nothing. I hope this video was valuable and I hope I inspired you and motivated you. I would love to hear what you took from this video and I would just love to keep making videos for you that are motivating and helpful. So thank you guys so much. I would love if you would subscribe and become part of our glue stick family. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye.